How do you get from Rome Fermentino Airport to Civitavecchia for your cruise? What are the options to get to the ports once you're in Civitavecchia? Is there anything interesting to see in the town before your cruise? Stay tuned as I got all your questions covered. Coming up next. Buongiorno, this is Ken from Ken Travels 360. Welcome to Heathrow Airport Terminal 5. Today, we are flying to Rome for Mancino Airport because tomorrow we are getting on a cruise on Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas. In this video, I'm going to show you how we get from Rome for Mancino Airport to the port of Civitavecchia. The flight is a comfortable one with a flying time of 2 hours and 30 minutes and we enjoyed some great views en route. We've just arrived at Rome for Mancino Airport and we just collected our luggage. There are two ways to get to Civitavecchia from here. You can splash out 120 euros and get a taxi. However, if you want to save money, then stay tuned to this video and I will show you how to get there by public transport. To go from Fermentino Airport to Civitavecchia, unfortunately, there is no direct train. So we'll need to change at Rome Trastevere station. The connection at Trastevere is not great. You have to wait 33 minutes for your connecting train. But hey, the whole trip is just 11 euros, so I can't really complain. Plus, I guess we get lots of time to change platform there. Right, we are gonna get the train tickets to uh, Civitavecchia. Okay, we got the train tickets. So first, we will take the FL1 train that connects to the Mancino station with Rome Trastevere. So our train is arriving. So we've just arrived at Trastevere. Here, we'll connect with a different train to go to Civitavecchia. Normally, you take one of the FL5 train to go there. However, for our connection, there will be a faster train to Pisa that will stop at Civitavecchia. So we'll take that one instead. Our train is arriving. We are now on the second train to Civitavecchia. We've just arrived at Civitavecchia. We'll be staying in a hotel overnight here because we want to explore Civitavecchia a bit and do some shopping before our cruise. It's always a good idea to fly at least a day before your cruise. If you are going straight from the train station to the port, then you have a few options. The first way, you can get this port link bus. It goes directly between the train station and the port. The second option, you have a cheaper option of using the local bus run by the CSP. The cost is half, 3 euros, but it makes a few stops on its way to Lago della Pace. Lago della Pace is basically a transit point where cruisers can access their ships via free shuttle coaches. Local buses and taxis deposit and pick up passengers here. Finally, you can walk. Just 600 meters away from the train station is Varco Fortessa, which is where you will find Fort Michelangelo. From there, you can actually get the free shuttle bus to get to your ship. So after about six minutes walk, we have almost arrived at the hotel. If we just turn the corner there, that's the hotel. On the other side, we have the Fort Michelangelo. We have arrived at our hotel, which is Museum Guest House. It's really close from the train station. So our hotel is just over there at that yellow building. And as we turn around, you can see Fort Michelangelo. And beyond it is the port. Well, welcome to the port of Civitavecchia. As you look around, you will spot a magnificent building called Fort Michelangelo. It's a 16th century structure that played a crucial role in protecting the coastline of Lazio. Here's an interesting fact. Fort Michelangelo was commissioned by Pope Julius II. He wanted to defend the port of Civitavecchia from pesky pirates who constantly threatened the city with rays, fires and chaos. Just next to Fort Michelangelo, near Moro del Bicchiere, there is a remarkable statue called Kissing in Memory of a Port. 
This statue was unveiled on September the 16th, 2020 as part of the 150th anniversary celebration of the Italian Port Authority. The purpose of this monument is to honour the people who departed from the port of Civitavecchia for war, many of whom sadly never returned. The statue itself depicts a young woman passionately kissing a sailor from the port authority. It stands tall at almost 3 metres and is made of bronze. The girl is dressed in clothing typical of the 1940s, while the sailors wear the old uniform of the Port Authority. So just a few minutes walk away from the Fort Michelangelo, we find another giant sculpture. This sculpture is called Embracing Peace by Seward Johnson. It's actually a copy of the original one, which is in Sarasota's Bay Front in Florida. If you are finding this video useful, please support the channel by smashing the like button. It really helps and let others discover the content too. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. By doing so, you won't miss any new videos. Thanks for your support. Alright, we just got to a lovely terrace here where you can get a great view. On your left, you can see the uh, Fort Michelangelo. And on the other side, on the right, you can see the cruise port. The sunset is looking lovely now. Behind me, this is the Van Vitelli Fountain. In 1740, Pope Benedict XIV sponsored the construction of a beautiful fountain. The purpose was to replace an old basin that occupied the exact spot where the new fountain stands today. Architect Luigi Van Vitelli completed the fountain in 1743 using trumpetine as the main material. These exquisite fountains feature the head of an ancient faun, nestled within a niche adorned with a curved garble. Right, we finished with our stroll in Civitavecchia. Let's go stock up some supplies for the cruise. So we're in the local supermarket now. We want to get a couple of bottles of wines to take onto the ship. Remember, when you go on a Royal Caribbean ship, you can take up to per stay room two bottles of wine. The first one that we have chosen is a DOCG Prosecco, so it should be quite good. And then uh, I'm eyeing this one. It looks like a very nice Chianti. Chianti Reserva is also DOCG. So we'll get these two bottles. So after the breakfast in the morning in the lounge, we haven't really eaten anything apart from a pack of crisps. So we're going to have dinner here in this MAA Ristorante. We started with an Apple Spritz as aperitif and it's arguably the best part of the dinner. The food here was quite average. After dinner, we went to check out where we could get the free shuttle bus. So if you are coming here from the train station, as you walk towards the port, just before you get past the port, you turn left and then you walk towards the sea then, you will see this statue kissing in memory of a port. Then, if you keep walking, then you will find the bus stop. This is the bus stop for the shuttle service that takes you to the dock. And indeed, the next morning, that's where we manage to get our shuttle bus. As the evening draws to a close, it's time to conclude this video. I hope you enjoy watching this. Make sure you subscribe to follow my upcoming Odyssey of the Seas video series. In the meantime, why don't you click on one of the video links on the screen now to explore other cruise content on my channel. See you over there. Ciao.